Hey y'all, this your girl Rika the Empress and Yes, I'm back in the building. This is going to be a video for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Vegas. Uh, this video is going to be what your ex want to say to you, what intentions does your ex have? Is there anything that you need to find out? Whatever is going on, we're going to find out today. Um, also, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And when you do subscribe, click all notifications for me, please. And thank you. The more you click and subscribe, the more I can get the message out there to those who need it. Also, uh, what else was I about to say? I offer personal readings. The information will be in the description box below. Also, if it doesn't resonate, it's not for you. And if this is not you and it is the person that you actually were connected to in your past, <coughs> take cross watch, cross flip it, flip it. Take it as it resonates. Leave out what don't, okay? Soon as I said I got the call for somebody don't want me to say something that, that's dealing with a Leo. I remember every detail of that day. We both know I'm not the one for you. Somebody saw something. Uh Leo, did you catch somebody with somebody? You caught somebody with somebody. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. It's time for me to heal now, yeah. This person it, it thinks about you a lot, but they still know that right now they need to heal. I don't know if they're thinking about healing this situation, but there's some healing going on. I'm not quite sure with their frequency. I feel you, even though we are apart, I wish I could say, yeah, this person might want to, they might try to heal from the past regrets that they had or what they did, or they might be trying to heal this situation. It's kind of indecisive. It's like this person is in between, Leo. All right, so what is going on for my Leos? My Leos. I wish I could take back my words. I wish things could be different. Yeah, see what I mean? They, I'm starting to understand our connection. I want to be more than just friends. So, uh, right now, this person wants to take some things back that they said. Um, I think they fucked around and said the wrong things to you. And now they're realizing that basically this person was a liar. Leo, uh, yeah, I'm already seeing what's going on. This person did a whole lot of lying. And then they, they talking about something. I wish I could take back my words. I wish things could be different. I bet you do now because you got caught in a motherfucking lie. And now this person talking about I'm starting to understand our connection. I want to be more than friends. They got caught in a lie. The other situation ain't working out. They talking about I wish things could be different. Really? Do you really wish things could be different? Do you really? I switched up the deck on this one because the, the energy feels iffy. There's another deck that I really want to use, honestly. There we go. The, it, this energy feel iffy as fuck. It's like this person know they did. I wish I could take back my words. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Um. So... Eight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Five of Wands. This person is really, really, really trying to work on feeling fucked up for the things that they say. They are dealing with the effects. This is karma. They trying to repair this situation. They want to work hard on this because there's a lot of internal and external conflict going on with them. This person is trying to fix this karma came for the ass. Yo, this shit got me livid. Judgment. What the fuck did I tell y'all? This person is going through judgment right now. They are going through fucking karma because they sat there and they lied to you. You was dealing with somebody that told you a whole bunch of shit that wasn't true. That uh, they weren't happy in a relationship. I don't know why I'm getting this. They weren't happy in a relationship. Um, That that person in them was about to be done. This person came to you with a whole bunch of bullshit and lies. Whatever went on with this situation, they going through judgment right now. This Eight of Pentacles... That's, you know how a person, um, they're learning some lessons. They, they're, they're taking them pinnacles. It's turned, they're going through judgment right now like a motherfucker. And the screws, excuse my French, but I'm being real with you, Leo. 
this person, you could be dealing with a, you could have been dealing with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, but they're going through judgment right now. They got a lot of mental, they got a lot of inside and outside challenges going on. They are very conflicted. They're going through judgment. This person taught, the, and, and if this isn't that type of connection, I'm also feeling the connection of someone that needs to berate you and talk down to you. Some of I wish things could be different. I bet you do, because you realize what the hell you had now. I wish things could be different. Justice, the lovers, and the five of pentacles in reverse. This person wants to make this situation right. They want to come in with some love for you. Because they really want to, this, look, five, 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 this is the five of pentacles in reverse. This person it now wants to come from out of the code. This person wants to bring some justice to the situation with the lover's card. They want to come from out of the code. You definitely was dealing with an earth sign, Leo, or you got earth in your charge. You could also be dealing with a Libra and a Gemini, too. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio with the judgment card, but I don't. Listen, whatever is going on, this person is going through judgment. Clarify justice, the lovers, and the five of pentacles. Yeah, they stress the fuck out. They've been thinking about you heavy, Leo. Could possibly be a Libra, too, that you were connecting with. But this is a Libra or a Gemini, but this is heavy energy. I'm seeing somebody just sitting there stressed the fuck out. Uh, this is the energy of somebody that is like, uh, remember when I first shuffled, I, sometimes I lay at night thinking about you, this person can't sleep. This person wants to bring some justice with some love in this situation and come out of the code. They are stressed the fuck out. Leo, this person is stressed. That's their karma. They're going through judgment right now. I'm starting to understand our connection. I bet they is. Ace of Pentacles. Oh, Wow. Yeah, you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Moon in reverse. You definitely were dealing with somebody that was an Earth sign. It's some with the Moon card in reverse. This is secrets. Cause you got the Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Okay, so this is what's going on. This person wants to come forward towards you in secret. They want to offer you this tangible new opportunity. Ace of Cups, Ace of this person wants to come forward to you. This is a secret you don't know about. Um, because they really, really miss you. And they want to try and, and do a resurgence, Leo. Nah. Nah. Ace of Pentacles and the Moon in Reverse. Nine of Pentacles, yeah. This person sees you as stable. They see you as stable. And they might be single now, but I don't feel that. It could be that, Leo, that this person is now single, whatever it was. Because I told you that's what's going on. They got in a lot. They're going through judgment. With the Ace of Pentacles and the, and the Moon, this person might see you as stability. The Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups. The Five of Cups. Queen of Swords, yeah. Five of Cups, yeah. Yeah. Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups, yeah. You cut this person off. You cut this person off. And you didn't just cut this person off. Um, I really see this person wanting to come in and speak their truth. With this Queen of Swords energy, this is uh somebody that, that is, wants to be honest. They want to cut to the truth of the matter. With the fact that this basically they're trying to cut off that uh disappointments, those regrets. Yeah, you definitely might have been dealing with a fucking Libra too. You definitely may have been dealing with a Libra. I want to be more than just friends. Yeah, this person, the, whoever's single, they want to go ahead and cut this off. King of Wands, yeah, they're very passionate about you. King of Wands, but remember this, I don't see. King of Wands, yeah, the devil, yeah. This is a passionate connection. Yeah, and the hangman. You could have been connected with a Pisces, too. Yeah. Yeah, this person is obsessive. This person has a strong, they're very, very, very attracted to you. Even though the King of Wands is Leo energy, uh-uh. This is a person that's very attracted to you. 
And it's like, it's such a strong attraction, and they just waiting right now. They're in a hangman energy. It's like, they're just waiting. But it's like an a obsession about it. They just waiting, and they watching, too. They waiting for the perfect opportunity. Clarify the king of wands, the devil, and the hangman. Yup, page of cups, and the emperor. Yeah. This person, don't be surprised if you get some type of communication. There's about to be some communication coming through. But this only reason this person is coming forward because they want to take control. This person wants to take control of the situation. But this is the thing they didn't do you right when they had you. They're going through karma right now. Don't do it. With this Ace of Pentacles, this person is seeing that you had everything they wanted. With the Moon card, they are now starting to see the deception. That they had everything they wanted because they're looking at you as the Nine of Pentacles, Leo. With the Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups, they are hurting right now. And they want to resurge the spirit say no. Queen of Swords, no. All right, spirit. Can I get some out of time wellness? What's going on? Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. You got engagement in reverse. The spirit say this love, don't do it. They don't, don't do it. Cause they coming, they gonna try and come back. But that's cause they wanna take control. The dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light. Like I told you, adapt, change, heal, soulmates. You got something coming forward. You got a strong soulmate type connection coming forward. Yeah. And for others, this is just be lighthearted. This is just a lighthearted. This was just a, a contract. This was just something that she was supposed to learn a lesson from Tulia. Cause I'm 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 feeling the energy of no. Yup, there we go. Date abundance. Keep them positive mindset. Like I said, for majority of y'all, y'all got something better coming in y'all way. You got date in abundance. Now, this could have been a lesson for you in the contract. Cause now you're about to uh, meet that person for you. You know, now you're about to manifest exactly what it is that you're looking for. But just be careful. This person just want to try and come back and take control of a situation. Also, Leo, I'm feeling the energy of somebody that was older than you. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn, too. Pisces, too. But whatever is going on, just be careful. This person just want to come in and take control. Because they see you bossing. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Go ahead and free yourself. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Past life. Listen. Pet. Free yourself from that love from the past. Codependency. Yeah, you definitely got, uh, you definitely were dealing with uh, a Capricorn too. It was a codependent relationship. It was very toxic. Very soon in retreat, yeah. This was a toxic connection. And you had to figure out what it is that you want to get away from. Uh, you still are connected to this person energetically. You got to, this, this person that you're connecting to, that you are connected to right now, or you were previously connected to, because this feel like the energy of something that's current too, as well as an ex. You need to let this go, because all you're doing, you know why you need to free yourself, because this love you feel is just the same energy from a past life relationship. There's a lot of codependency and toxicity here. You need to get clear about what it is that you want and back away, because it's something better for you out there. Stop settling, Leo. But I definitely feel that one. I definitely feel this, and this is something that you got to, that's where that codependency coming from. With the two of wands, that's what the hangman is about. They're trying to figure out what direction they want to take. Spirit said, retreat, you got to free yourself, and retreat, you have to let this go. You got to. But okay, guys, I'll see you later.